Hey, what is going on guys? Jolts here, and today we had a look at Moses' skill tree for the first time. For the longest time, we've only known that she has a suit, and she can use it, and also teammates can use it too. But now we have a full look at the skill tree, and we can see everything that she does. So without further ado, let's jump into the skill tree. Starting off with the bottomless mags tree, we have the minigun action skill. The minigun is capable of sustained rapid fire. Firing for long periods causes the minigun to overheat, rendering it inoperable for a few seconds. This sounds very familiar to the COB weaponry in this game. For the next skill, we have Cloud of Lead. Occasionally, Moses and Iron Bear's shots will deal additional fire damage and won't consume ammo. Next rank, bonus fire rate 2.25%. Every 8 shots does not consume ammo. So, I'm wondering if you put points in there, if it will lower it to like 7 shots, and then 6 shots, all the way down to like 3 shots. If that is the case, I wonder if you can equip a class mod of some sort and approach infinite ammo. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Daka Bear. Adds a manned turret to the back of Iron Bear. So, this is probably the skill in which your teammates can mount the turret and use it for themselves. Match Set. Moses' currently equipped weapon gains a stacking bonus to magazine size and decrease heat per shot for every piece of equipped gear that has a matching manufacturer. Magazine size, plus 2%. Heat per shot, minus 2%. That sounds very interesting. So, let's say you had a Vladoff weapon on, and then all your other gear was Vladoff. Your magazine size would be pretty big. That's super cool. Stoke the embers. Increase Moe's and Iron Bear's fire damage. Fire damage plus 10%. Now, that's a really big bonus. So with 5 points there, you would be at 50% fire damage bonus. And then who knows how much you can max it out with a class mod too. Redistribution. After Moe scores a critical hit, she regenerates ammo for a few seconds. Ammo regeneration plus 5% of magazine. Redistribution duration 3 seconds. It seems like Moses is going to be about spamming all the bullets. Now we have Scrappy. Increases Moses' handling. While moving, Moses' weapon swap and mode switch speed are increased. Handling plus 7.5%, weapon swap speed plus 7.5%, and mode switch speed plus 7.5%. Running and gunning, I like that. Speaking of running and gunning, we have Russian Offensive. Moe's can sprint and shoot at the same time. Thank you, I love this skill. We had a similar skill to this um, on Wilhelm in the pre-sequel, and that made mobbing a lot more enjoyable. Scorching RPMs. Moe's gains increased fire rate and critical hit damage. Fire rate plus 1.5%, critical hit damage plus 2.5%. A simple buff on the stats, I like that. The Iron Bank. Increases Moses' magazine size. Magazine size plus 4%. Could you imagine stacking all these skills on a COV weapon? Your magazine would be pretty much infinite. Specialist Bear. Equipping two of the same weapons on Iron Bear increases the damage they deal. Iron Bear damage, 10%. So, even more damage. Okay, check this one out. Some for the road. Moe's gains infinite ammo for a few seconds after exiting Iron Bear. Some for the road duration, 5 seconds. The big question here is, does this apply to rocket launchers too? We'll have to wait and see on that. Then we have Click Click. Most gains increase gun damage as our magazine empties. The less ammo there is remaining, the greater the increase. Gun damage up to 12%. Now, I wonder if it's going to be based on the percentage of ammo left or the number of shots left. For example, you have a low magazine Jacob shotgun, so would you be able to proc the bonus damage more often? And for the capstone, we have Forge. Moe's constantly regens ammo for her currently equipped weapons. Ammo regeneration plus 1.5% of the magazine per second. For smaller mag weapons, the regen's going to be pretty slow. For bigger magazine weapons like these COV weapons, your regen's gonna be pretty insane. Okay, so time for the augments. Now, if you haven't heard yet, the augments are something you equip to your action skill to get different effects. For the first one, we have let off some steam. Minigun deals more damage as heat increases, and can be fired for longer before overheating. Damage up to 80%, minigun heat capacity plus 35%. I like that, even more spam. Salamander. The Salamander is a flamethrower that deals fire damage to enemies at close range. Though the Salamander has infinite ammo, it drains fuel with use. I like it. Fire is always fun. General Winter. Minigun fires cryo rounds, which reduce heat gain and fuel drain, but deal reduced damage. Fuel drain at minus 40%, minigun damage at minus 30%, cryo efficiency plus 20%, and converts to cryo damage. Freezing your enemies solid, I'm always down for that. Fuel Economy. Reduces Salamander's fuel drain. Additionally, Iron Bear's movement speed is increased after damaging an enemy with Salamander. Fuel drain, minus 25%. Movement speed, plus 25% for 3 seconds. Exploding bullets. Minigun fires explosive rounds that deal increased splash damage, but its fire rate is decreased. Minigun's fire rate, minus 75%. Minigun's damage, plus 126%. This seems like it could be a really good skill because if you're decreasing your fire rate, you wouldn't overheat as fast. Plus, you're getting a huge damage bonus. Chemical Warfare. Salamander now deals corrosive damage. Additionally, Salamander's smell damage is increased. 
Melt damage, plus 50%. Converts to corrosive damage. Molten Roar. The Salamander burst fires three projectiles with increased fuel drain, the first of which leaves a large fire area. Fuel drain, plus 25%. And that's it for this skill tree, so let's move on to the next. Now we have the Demolition Woman tree. The action skill is known as V-35 Grenade Launcher. The V-35 is a semi-auto grenade launcher. Its grenades are not affected by Moses' equipped grenade mod. I've always enjoyed grenade launchers, so I can't wait to see that. Next up, we have Fire in the Skag Den. Whenever Moes deals splash damage, she deals bonus fire damage. Bonus fire damage, plus 3%. Deadlines. Firing Iron Bear's weapons drains less fuel. Killing an enemy while Iron Bear is active increases fuel. This skill has diminishing returns. Fuel returned, up to 2%. Fuel drain, minus 10%. Grizzled. Kill skill. Killing an enemy reduces Moses' remaining action skill cooldown time. This skill has diminishing returns. Iron Bear's cooldown time, minus 1 second. Means of Destruction. Whenever Moe's deals splash damage, there is a chance to add ammo to a currently equipped weapons magazine, with a smaller chance to return a grenade. Ammo chance, 3.3%. Grenade chance, 2%. Torg across promotion. All splash damage dealt by Moe's has a chance to double in size. Plus 3% chance to double splash damage radius. Stainless Steel Bear. Iron Bear gains additional armor and increased maximum fuel. Maximum fuel, plus 4%. Iron Bear armor, plus 6%. Pull the Holy Pen. That's a throwback to Krieg. I like that one. Moses grenades have a chance to score a critical hit, dealing greatly increased damage. Critical hit chance, plus 10%. Now, we saw something similar to this known as Tombstone in the pre-sequel on Nisha's skill tree. If this skill is going to work the same way as it did in the pre-sequel, this skill could be pretty OP. Auto Bear. After Mo's exits Iron Bear, it will remain deployed in place for a short time. While Auto Bear remains active, it will target and attack nearby enemies until its duration ends. Then, it will charge into an enemy and self-destruct. Auto Bear duration, 15 seconds. Vampire. Whenever Moe's damages an enemy with a grenade, for every enemy hit, she restores a portion of her missing health. Restores plus 4% of missing health per enemy hit. Why I can't carry all of these grenades? Increases Moses' grenade carry capacity. Grenade capacity, plus 1. Very similar to Axton's skill in Borderlands 2, known as Grenadier. So, we can spam all the grenades. To the last, Moe's gains the ability to throw grenades while in fight for your life. If she threw a grenade before gaining a second wind, a grenade is refunded. Axton did have this skill in Borderlands 2 also, known as Do or Die, and that skill was a lifesaver in many situations. I will definitely be grabbing that skill. Explosive Punctuation. When Moe's deals splash damage, her action skill cooldown rate is briefly increased. Action skill cooldown rate, plus 5%. It doesn't show any cooldown on it, so I'm wondering if you can find a combo to get like instant cooldown. And for the capstone, we have short fuse. Whenever Moe's deals gun damage, there is a chance for a secondary explosion centered on the target. Secondary explosion chance, 20%. Secondary explosion damage, 75% of gun damage. That is a huge bonus. Imagine like spamming bullet after bullet after bullet and just getting all this free bonus damage. That's a pretty good skill. Now for the augments, we have Shaped Charge. Direct hits with the V-35 deal increased damage. Direct hit damage, plus 35%. Vanquisher Rocket Pod. The Vanquisher Rocket Pod is a rocket launcher capable of rapid firing volleys of unguided explosive rockets. Even more spam, I like it. Musical Chairs. Occasionally, the V-35 fires a Singularity Grenade that pulls in nearby enemies before exploding. Singularity every 7th grenade. Active Tracking. The Vanquisher Rocket Pod now fires homing rockets and has increased reload speed. Hold down fire button and aim at enemies to designate up to 6 targets. Releasing fire button launches a volley of homing rockets at the designated targets. Reload speed, plus 25%. Lock and speed load. The V-35's reload speed is greatly increased and now fires a 5 round burst. Reload speed, plus 25%. Target Softening. The Vanquisher Rocket Pod deals greatly reduced damage per rocket, but fires in a 6 rocket spread. Additionally, enemies hit by the Vanquisher Rocket Pod rockets take increased damage from all sources. Damage minus 74%, enemy damage taken plus 15%. That's a really nice debuff and I wonder if it's going to be a good trade-off. And finally, we have Hammer Down Protocol. Instead of a volley of conventional rockets, the Vanquisher Rocket Pod launches a single rocket with a nuclear warhead, dealing massive radiation damage. Damage, plus 380%. Magazine size, 1. That makes sense. That skill actually sounds a little bit OP. 
If you're going to be applying radiation to all the enemies on the field with this, you're going to be increasing your damage from any source. Okay, onto the final skill tree, we have the Shield of Retribution skill tree. The action skill is known as Railgun. The Railgun fires electrified high velocity projectiles that deal shock damage. That is pretty cool, so now we have all the elements at our disposal with all the action skills and augments. Selfless Vengeance. Whenever Moe's reloads, she loses a small portion of her health and grants additional fire damage to her and her allies rounds for a few seconds. Bonus fire damage, plus 3% of gun damage dealt. Current health removal, 1%. Selfless Vengeance duration, 5 seconds. Security Bear. Iron Bear gains a bubble shield that reduces damage taken. The shield deactivates if it sustains too much damage, reactivating after a short cooldown. Bubble recharge delay, 5 seconds. 20% Iron Bear max health added as shields. So this skill tree looks to be focused on more of a defensive approach. Armored Infantry. While Moses shields are active, she gains damage reduction and increased gun damage. Gun damage, plus 3%. Damage reduction, plus 2%. Drowning in Brass. Killing an enemy grants Mose a stack of Drowning in Brass. For each stack of Drowning in Brass, Mose's fire rate is reduced, but gun damage is increased for both her and her allies. Gun damage plus 4% per stack, Mose's fire rate minus 0.5% per stack, max Drowning in Brass stacks, 3. It looks like this is going to be a support skill tree for your team as well. Thin Red Line. A portion of Mose's health is removed and cannot be restored, but her maximum shield is increased the same amount, plus 20% of max health removed and added to max shields. Early on, this could be a really good skill because you don't have all the health regen in the world at the start of the game, but shields will passively regen over time. Flat Up Ingenuity Moses' maximum shield is increased, and she gains resistance to shock damage. Max shield, 6%. Shock damage resistance, 10%. Very similar to Gage's skill Myelin in Borderlands 2. Full can of whoop beep. Yeah, I'm not getting a strike on YouTube, so I will be careful with those kind of words. Entering Iron Bear causes Moses and her allies' shields to immediately begin recharging at an increased shield recharge rate. Shield recharge rate, 25%. Experimental Munitions. Whenever Mo scores a critical hit, she deals bonus fire damage. Bonus fire damage, plus 10% of damage dealt. Behind the Iron Curtain, Moses' shield recharge delay is reduced, and her shield recharge rate is increased. Shield recharge rate, 7%. Shield recharge delay, minus 8%. Desperate measures. Moses' gun damage is increased depending on how low her health is. The lower her health, the greater the increase. Gun damage, up to 17%. It seems like it could be a really good skill if you're in fight for your life. Phalanx Doctrine. Kill skill. After killing an enemy, Moses gains a stack of Phalanx Doctrine. For every stack of Phalanx Doctrine, Moses' maximum shield and gun damage are increased. Each stack lasts 30 seconds. There is no stack limit. Gun damage, plus 2% per stack. Max shields, 3% per stack. Phalanx Doctrine duration, 30 seconds. Force feedback. Whenever Mo scores a critical kill, her shields immediately begin recharging. Now, it doesn't show the recharge rate, so I'm wondering how fast this will actually be. And for the capstone, we have Tenacious Defense. Whenever Moses' shield is fully depleted, she instantly restores a portion of her shield, and her gun damage is increased for a short time. This skill can only be triggered after Moses' shields have fully recharged. Gun damage, 12%. Restores 40% of max shield. Tenacious defense duration, 30 seconds. That sounds like a really good skill for survival. For the first augment, we have Hell on Rails. Railgun now fires superheated rounds that deal fire damage, but have increased fuel drain per shot. Fuel drain at plus 30%, converts to fire damage. Bare Fist. The Bare Fist is a pneumatic driven fist that deals massive damage to a single target at close range. Wilhelm had a similar skill to this in the pre-sequel. I do wonder if it will have knockback or like stagger the enemy too. Capacitive Armature. When Railgun hits an enemy, it chains to nearby enemies, dealing reduced shock damage to more targets. Splinter damage, minus 75%. Wild Swing. Whenever Bare Fist hits an enemy, it deals random bonus elemental damage to that enemy and all enemies nearby. Elemental damage, plus 35% of damage dealt. Corrosive Sabbat Round. Railgun now fires a specialty round that deals reduced damage and explodes after a short delay. Railgun shots have reduced fuel drain and magazine size is increased. Fuel drain, minus 50%. Railgun damage, minus 50%. Magazine size, too, converts to corrosive damage. Close the distance. Instead of punching, Bare Fist now launches its fist forward and grabs enemies at greatly increased range, pulling them back to Iron Bear. That's super cool. That sounds like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Get over here! Finally, we have Shock Hammer. Bare Fist is now capable of sustained rapid fire, punching as long as the fire button is held. Additionally, Bare Fist has reduced fuel drain and deals bonus shock damage with each hit. Shock damage, plus 19% of damage dealt. Fuel drain, minus 40%. That's it for the skill tree, so let me know below what you guys think about Moe's. Now, at first, I felt like she was kind of the lesser talked about character, because, you know, everybody's talking about Black. But after seeing this skill tree, I might have some second thoughts about who I'm going to play first. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. 
and I will catch you guys later. Yeah, peace out.